Hi, this is Samar Rothenberg here in Empowering Woman. And I want to talk about getting out of your comfort zone. What is the thing that you're most afraid of when you get out, get out of your comfort zone and how you control that? Or the tips how you can work uh, around it. So I'm going to take my glasses off my comfort zone. <laughs> the thing that, I want, that I'm most afraid of, I think, is judgment and yeah, I think judgment uh, and maybe um, to be embarrassed. And now I'm going to take it in a little bit, how can I work around? I just wanted to tell you the answers. I received rejection or uncertainty. Um, of course, you know, we can have those fears around and they're very real. And we know for sure that stepping out of our comfort zone is a good thing because it makes us grow. It's a good thing, but still, it's good and sometimes you think it's not that good because you think it's it's going to, to go nowhere if you don't have a clear picture, right? But I think getting out to the ground of the comfort zone uh, it's not good in life in general to be comfortable, right? Um, why? why? Why is not good to be comfortable? It's good. It's good to, to enjoy, to have pleasure for the things that you do and to relax. So why is it so good to be comfortable uh, for so long? So it's not that it's not good to be comfortable. It is good. And we, we all need that private space to, to, to have that balance in life because we, we all need that, that comfort space and the comfort uh, barriers in our life, let's say, to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. So why is it that getting out of your comfort zone make us grow. So I think that's the main point of the comfort zone. We want to get out of the comfort zone, not as much as we can in certain areas of our lives, because it's good that we have a little bit of pain, struggling and challenge in order to grow. That doesn't mean that the comfort is bad. Maybe you can have different opinions. This is my opinion or my experience, okay? When I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, I'm getting to the non-comfort zone area, and it's also not good to be in the panic area, which is something that I learned about with time and, and people that that taught me many different things and lessons. And also in leadership, we get, we get out in a circle. These are comfort zone in the middle. And then out of the comfort zone, it's a little bit away of the circle. And then there is the panic area, panic zone. We also don't want to be in the panic zone. You know why? Because you tend to freeze and you don't do anything so you do you progress when you are in your panic zone no i don't think so i don't think any of us uh, will progress or will grow or we if we are in the freeze zone so how do you manage to be in your out of the comfort zone how much time and how to get rid of those feelings of uncertainty uh, rejection embarrassment shame um how can we balance that in order to achieve um, the goals that we want to achieve because that's uh, the, the ideal thing is uh, we're going to achieve that if, I, if, if I'm suffering from all those fears I go, am I going to be on the other side of the of the curve someday or not or what am I doing this for to prove me something mm. so I think we need to analyze it much better to say they just say get out of your comfort zone be out there just risk it just do it just it's good for you and don't have fear. Fear is something that what are we all going to have and it's, a, it's part of our nature because fear is there to protect us and it's good. It's good to have fear because it will protect you for many things. You have to have fear for jumping out of a bridge and you have to have fear also for your emotions as well because then you're avoiding to get in a trauma as well. You know, because if you're avoiding to get hurt, you're avoiding later to get a trauma a shocking trauma and that's good so how can we measure how can we balance all of that so can we can get the maximum potential of getting out of the comfort zone to get when we want again right sometimes we don't know when we want again but it will give us tools to grow and it will still be good because you see it right afterwards so let's say i, I need to do something i need to do um goals three goals per day or oh, now, now that I'm doing the 100, the 100 day challenge for a video, many people told me, 
you're crazy, you're interviewing women all around. So why is it they are, I'm getting out totally of my comfort zone because otherwise it's not a challenge, right? I need to do a challenge per day. So for me, getting out of my comfort zone is interviewing people that I don't know and I have to interview them and they have to agree and then they, they have to say, okay, this is for a good cause, empowering women and we're doing a challenge. And also you need to ask them, ask them a random person, a random woman, the phone number, because I need to send them the links to subscribe. Sometimes I have the time to explain the challenges, sometimes I don't have the time and I have to wrap it up and this person has to trust me. So I'm getting exposed myself into many different things. First, because it happens, people judging, of course, which is the, the, the feeling that I'm most afraid of. What is she doing this challenge? What is she trying to prove with this? Um, this is ridiculous. She, look what she's doing. She's so lame. Whatever the judgment, right? That that's the, the most fear that I'm afraid of that they judge me. And then, and then you realize that after I do it for a couple of days, fear, I have this energy of this woman that I interview, and they love it, and they are so inspired by it, and they start following me in this in the channel, and it's growing. It's a community. It's fantastic. What I'm going to achieve after the 100-day challenge, we'll see, because that the, the reason that I did it and getting out of my comfort zone every day is because I measure, okay, am I doing this because they want to judge me? I mean, how, how much is the fear of judging versus the, 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 the thing that I'm doing? Am I doing something wrong to the people? Maybe for some, some of them, it's uncomfortable that I ask them questions and I videotape them. That's the reason that I asked them before, and, and I did face re re rejection. And I'm going to talk about that, that, the rejection feeling in another video, but I do feel some things that I'm not comfortable with when I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. But at the end of the day, I think the main thing that you need to concentrate with stepping out of your comfort zone, it's the main objective of the, of the idea of stepping out of the comfort zone in order to balance your, 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 your feelings of fear, because those are feelings of fear, rejection, uncertainty, judgment, okay? So the main objective for me was I, I want to have a, to grow a local community, a social media engagement for the local people to have X number of subscribers minimum to start building a community. So it's all positive. I want to do something too positive, okay? They will judge me. Maybe the people don't agree. That's the right way to do it. Many will. Many people will say she's so stupid. Other people will say I don't know why she asked me all those questions. But if I focus on the main idea and I say it's something positive and something that is going to help me grow and help them grow, and especially when you're doing things for others, not for yourself only, you realize that you're getting out the best potential of getting out of the comfort zone and every day that I face the, the challenge, every day is a challenge. There's some days that I don't even want to interview anybody. I'm looking around to see which people I can. So I go to, to, to Zumba classes, to the gym, to see the people who are more energetic and willing to, to collaborate with the challenge. And I also go to some places that they're not willing to collaborate and I push myself to do it. To also see how can I manage those certain kind of personalities and rejection as well. And that all of that is positive outcome because if you get if you get to get a positive outcome out of getting out of your comfort zone and you focus on that mainly, then it's, it becomes much easier. Of course I'm saying this and you think it's super easy for me to do it. It's not. And you need to have some certain steps to start doing that when you want to face your comfort zone because otherwise you will need never be able to get in out of your comfort zone. So it's like when you, you, want, you want to go, you want to wake up early in the bed and do, start doing exercise at 5, 6 a.m., whatever. And that, you know, is you will struggle with that, but you have to certain steps, put the alarm clock, uh, focus on the idea, uh, watch something nice, watch a positive quote in the morning to motivate you, then write it about it, then film it, then... Uh, I don't know, to do things around that is going to be positive, to show your outcome and motivate people also is a positive. Uh, because when you show your accomplishment, you feel better. Even when the people 
no, no, no so right next to you because right next to you, they're your friends and there are people and the family are the people more judgmental into your life because they also want to protect you. So they are like basically a mirror, a mirror of you. So you cannot ask that people only. Of course, you will ask for advice and, 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 and because you're, you're, they're the people closest to you, but sometimes the people closest to you, they are like you. So they don't want, they want to protect your image. So you have to step in out of, of your circle of trust and ask around and ask your community, and ask your, your peers, the, the people who, who live right next to you. And you will get in the maximum pleasure of getting out of the comfort zone at the end of the day. It's not easy, but you can contact me anytime and I give you some more steps in, to get into See this. See you soon. Bye.